हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग इंट्रोडक्शन सिंथेसिस एंड फार्माकोलॉजिकल एक्शन ऑफ आइकोसोनॉइड्स दैट इज प्रोस्टाग्लैंडस प्रोस्टासेक्लिन थ्रोम्बॉक्सिन ए टू एंड ल्यूकोड्राइन्स इन अवर लास्ट वीडियोज दैट इज ऑटोकॉइड्स पार्ट सिक्स एंड सेवन इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस थेरापेटिक यूजर्स ऑफ प्रोस्टाग्लैंडन एनालॉग्स नॉट दिस वीडियो इज एथ इन द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन ऑटोकॉइड्स Now look at this table: prostaglandin E1, prostaglandin E2, and prostaglandin F2 alpha are isomers of prostaglandins. While PGI2 is a prostacyclin. It is synthesized from cyclic endoperoxides by the enzyme prostacyclin synthase. Now let's first study effect of these uh, prostaglandins on different organs. and then we will talk about the use of prostaglandin analogs now the first is the effect on the blood vessels now prostaglandin e1 is a potent vasodilator it dilates the blood vessel so by now we know that vasodilation means dilation of blood vessel diameter of blood vessel increases thereby increasing blood flow in the area supplied Now, alprostadil is a synthetic prostaglandin E1 analog. It is used for temporary patency of ductus arteriosus. Now, first, uh, what is patency? Patency means to keep open. So, alprostadil is used to keep ductus arteriosus open in neonates. That means in newly born babies. Now, normally, this ductus arteriosus it remains open in the fetus. but it closes in the newly born child it closes in the neonates now look at this figure uh, this is the aorta this is the pulmonary artery and this is the ductus arteriosus so ductus arteriosus is a vessel it is a blood vessel or it is an opening that connects aorta with the pulmonary artery and this ductus arteriosus it remains open in the fetus Uh, so as to bypass the lungs but as soon as the baby is born this ductus arteriosus closes now in neonates uh, that is in the newly born baby with congenital heart defect alprostadil keeps ductus arteriosus open until surgery could be done to correct the congenital abnormality so this is the first use of uh, alprostadil now as alprostadil is a potent vasodilator it dilates the blood vessels it increases the blood flow uh, to the area that the blood vessel supplies so alprostadil increases blood flow to the penis causing erection so alprostadil can be used to treat erectile dysfunction in men however sildenafil is preferred Now prostaglandin E2 is also a vasodilator. Prostaglandin F2 alpha constricts larger blood vessels for example pulmonary artery. Next is the prostacyclin. Now prostacyclin is secreted by vascular endothelium. Now as we know that innermost lining of the blood vessels is called as endothelium. So prostacyclin is produced by the endothelium. Prostacyclin produces vasodilation. It dilates the blood vessels. Now, epoprostenol is a synthetic prostaglandin analog. It is a vasodilator. It dilates the blood vessels, reducing blood pressure. So, epoprostenol is used to treat pulmonary hypertension in few patients. Now, apart from this, prostacyclin also prevents platelet aggregation. and thus it is used to prevent damage during hemodialysis now as we know that the function of kidney is to filter blood that is to purify the blood now in in patients with renal failure a machine filters and purify the blood now this machine is kept outside the body of the patient and the process is called as hemodialysis now during purification of blood by the machine there are chances that uh, platelets aggregate and they form a thrombus now if a thrombus is formed this thrombus can block the blood vessels and for example if the coronary blood vessel is blocked 
This can result in anginal pain. If a cerebral blood vessel is blocked, it can cause stroke. So, uh, we should try to prevent the formation of thrombus. Now, this prostacyclin, it is found to prevent uh, platelet aggregation and damage during hemodialysis as well as during the uh, cardiopulmonary bypass. Uh, now let's see to the effect of these prostaglandins on the stomach and how prostaglandin analogs are useful in the peptic ulcer disease. Now before that look at this diagram. Now this is the diagram of the stomach. Now this is the wall of the stomach. Now uh, the wall of the stomach consists of gastric glands. Gastric glands produce acid and pepsin. Acid and pepsin are released in the lumen of stomach so as to digest the food. Now this acid and the pepsin is prevented to come in con direct contact with the wall of the stomach as well as the duodenum because otherwise this acid or the pepsin will digest this wall. So a layer of mucus a layer of mucus is found to be present on this gastroduodenal wall or found to be present on this gastroduodenal mucosa. So this uh, mucus layer is highly protected, protective and this layer uh, prevents the acid and pepsin to digest the wall of GIT. So prostaglandin E1 and prostaglandin E2, they increase secretion of mucus by the mucosal epithelial cells of the stomach. Now these prostaglandins also reduce secretion of acid as well as the secretion of pepsin. Now mucus it forms a protective covering over the gastroduodenal mucosa and therefore these prostaglandins are termed as to be cytoprotective. They protect the wall of the stomach from the corrosive effect of acid and pepsin. Now, misoprostol is a synthetic analog of prostaglandin E1 and it is occasionally used for the treatment or for the management of gastric and duodenal ulcers. Now, prostacyclin, that is PGI2, it is a weak inhibitor of acid secretion. And it also produces muc mucosal vasodilation. That means it causes dilation of blood vessels that supply to the gastroduodenal mucosa. Therefore, it also exhibits weak anti-ulcer effect. Now, uh, next is the effect on eyes. Now, topical prostaglandin F2 alpha analogs like uh, uh, latanoprost. Then uh, travoprost, then bimatoprost, they reduce intraocular pressure and therefore they reduce ocular hypertension. Uh, they use the hypertension of eye and therefore they are used in the treatment of wide angle glaucoma. Now next is the effect of uh, prostaglandins on uterus. And the use of prostaglandin analogs in obstetrics. Now prostaglandin even causes softening of the cervix. Cervix is the mouth of uterus. So prostaglandin E1 makes the cervix soft and easily manageable. Now gemiprost, it is a prostaglandin E1 analog. It is used for cervical ripening. Cervical ripening means it is used to make the cervix soft and manageable. So, gemiprost is used for preoperative softening of cervix. That means to make the cervix soft before performing any type of operation. PGE2 and PGF2 alpha, they produce contraction of the uterus. Both pregnant and non-pregnant uterus are contracted. Now, these prostaglandins also induce cervical ripening. That means they make the cervix soft and manageable. Now, dinoprostol is a prostaglandin E2 analog and it may be used to augment labor. That means to speed up the process of labor if the labor is slow. For example, in women giving birth to the first time. And it is used by the intravaginal route. 
Now carboprost, that is 15 methyl prostaglandin F2 alpha, is an alternative to control postpartum hemorrhage due to uterine atony. Uh, that means uh, uh, it is used to control postpartum hemorrhage uh, due to inability of the uterus to contract. So uterine atony means that the uterus is unable to contract. And since uterus is unable to contract, there is bleeding after the delivery of child. So postpartum hemorrhage is the bleeding that occurs after delivery or that uh, occurs after childbirth due to inability of the uterus to contract. And any agent that, that can cause uterine contraction can be used to control postpartum hemorrhage. Now, as carboprost cause uterine contraction, it can be used in uh, postpartum hemorrhage in patients not responding to ergometrine and oxytocin. So, these are uh, the therapeutic uses. These are some of the therapeutic uses of uh, prostaglandin analogs. Now, information has been collected from the book Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by K.D. Tripathi, 7th edition. Now, uh, please note that do not use this information for the clinical purpose. Always consult your physician for the clinical use of prostaglandin analogs. Now, information provided in this video is meant exclusively for the students from their examination point of view. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.